The former president, in an earlier post, said the debt exchange program in its current state threatens to plunge more people into poverty. And this, he says, is an absolute failure in managing the economy. That did not end it. On Saturday, he posted again about the Agenda 111 project, which was touted to give a boost to quality health care delivery in the country. Well, a senior lecturer at the University of Cape Cod, Jonathan Asantiotri, agrees government has unduly delayed in executing its own promise. It is a good call. And if if the government is able to do so, generally it is going to better, you know, the health uh, uh, development of the nation. So I think that it, there is nothing wrong with that. It is just that the government has unduly delayed. Uh, we don't even know the progress of it. He called on government to give an account of the current state of the hospitals under this project. Our current government keeps happening to our years how COVID has what devastated the economy. And so if for the sake of COVID and you intend to undertake Agenda 111, I think as a nation, we need to know the progress of it. And the ex-president is equally better positioned to ask such a question. And it is, it is very cardinal. Uh, you cannot take away the politics, but if you say it's a propaganda, I think that would be below the belt. Each unit under this project was estimated to cost 17 million U.S. dollars and all the hospitals were expected to be completed within 12 months. However, after more than two years, none of the hospitals has been completed. For TV3 News, I am Christian Yali.